Welcome to two projects. In this video, we are going to explain the project Underwater Image Enhancement with Multi-Scale Residual Attention Network. Before diving into the execution, let me give you an overview of the project. So, Underwater Image Enhancement is very important for marine biology, underwater robotics and environmental monitoring as underwater images often suffer from low contrast, color distortion, and haziness due to light absorption and scattering. Traditional methods of underwater image enhancement like histogram equalization, white balancing, and dehazing have limitations including over enhancement and color distortion. So this project proposes to use two models a convolutional neural network and an advanced multi-scale residual attention network that is MS-RAN. So the MS-RAN uses advanced techniques like residual feature attention blocks and a multi-scale multi-patch structure to enhance both global and local features effectively. The workflow includes importing raw and reference underwater images performing exploratory data analysis that is EDA, pre-processing the images and splitting the data set into training and testing sets. Later, both the models are trained and evaluated using peak signal to noise ratio that is PSNR and structural similarity index that is SSIM to select the best performing one and the beneficiaries include biologists, robotics, engineers, environmental scientists, and archaeologists. The overall goal of the project is to develop a robust system to significantly improve underwater image quality using deep learning, overcoming traditional methods limitations. So this is what happens in this project. Now we'll look at the software and hardware requirements to execute this project. Hardware requirements are operating system of Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8 GB and above, and hard disk of 25 GB and above. Software requirements are application needed is Anaconda. Primary language required is Python. Front-end framework needed is Flask. Back-end framework needed is Jupyter Notebook. Database required is SQL Lite 3, and front-end technologies required are HTML, CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap 4. Now we'll look at the algorithms built. So in this project, we have trained CNN and a multi-scale residual attention network that is MSRN model. So after training them, we have compared their performances using PSNR and SSIM. So PSNR short for peak signal to noise ratio measures the quality of an image by comparing it to a reference image, indicating higher values for better quality. Coming to SSIM, it is short for Structural Similarity Index, SSS, similarity between images with one indicating identical images. So here, the CNN model shows poor image quality with a low PSNR value and low similarity to the reference image with a low SSIM value. And the MSRN model demonstrates significantly better performance with high image quality indicated by a high PSNR value and high similarity to the reference image with a high SSIM value. So as the MSRN model is doing well with both PSNR and SSIM, we have deployed it into the Flask framework. So we will be executing the project using Flask web application. Before execution, first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files. So this is the code folder and these are the contents I have in the code folder. This is dataset folder in which I have marine images split into two folders. One containing raw images which are the original unprocessed images and another folder containing reference images. Reference images typically represent the desired or ideal output, serving as targets for image enhancement algorithms trained using the raw images as input. So I have 890 images 
each in these folders. This is models folder in which I have model files which contain algorithm information. These files will be loaded into the project code during runtime to utilize the train models. This is static folder. This folder consists of files related to CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap. This is templates folder. This folder contains all the HTML pages used in the project. It typically includes files like index.html, about.html, etc. which represent different pages of the website. This is test images folder in which I have test cases which will be used during the execution. This is app.py file. This .py file contains the information related to front-end logic. It includes code data in Python that handles server-side operations such as processing user requests, interacting with the database and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the HTML templates. This is notebook Jupyter source file which contains a co combination of code, graphs and outputs all in one place. So Jupyter notebook allows users to write and execute code in individual cells, making it a popular choice for data science. And this is signup.db file. This file is the database file used to store user information. It stores information like user signup details. So this is about the code folder. Now copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer. This is the path. I'm copying it. Open Anaconda prompt. Use the command cd followed by a space and paste the copied path and hit the enter button. So this command is used to change the current directory to the code folders path. Now compile the app.py file using the command python space app.py. I'm typing python space app.py and hit the enter button. So this command executes the Python script and performs a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues. After running the app.py file, the Flask framework will host the application locally at the default address, local host and port unless configured differently. Now copy the local link provided by the framework. I'm copying it and paste it into any web browser. I usually prefer Chrome. After pasting it, hit the enter button. So the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser. This is the front end built using Flask framework. And here we can see a sign up link, click on it. So if we are new users, we have to register ourselves first, fill in all these details and click on register button to sign up. And if we already have an account, we can directly log in by clicking on the sign in link. As I am already a member, I'm clicking on the sign in link. Here we have to give our credentials, username and password. I'm giving mine. And click on submit button. So it has redirected us to the image enhancement page. Now here we have to upload any underwater image and the application will enhance the uploaded image. Click on choose file button. From test images folder, these are the test cases I have. I'm selecting the first image and click on open. The image has been loaded. Now click on upload button. So this is the original image which we have uploaded. And here we can see this is the enhanced image. So we can see the original image and the enhanced image. We can see the difference here. Click on try again, click on choose file. We'll try with this image this time. Select the image, click on open and click on upload button. So this is the original image which we have uploaded and we can see this is the enhanced image which the application has enhanced. Click on try again, we'll try uploading some more images. Click on choose file. We'll try with this image. Select the image, click on open. The image has been loaded. Now click on upload button. So this is the uploaded image and here we can see the enhanced image. So we can see there is a lot of improvement from the original image. 
So the application has used the trained MSRN model and the image enhancement techniques to enhance the image. Click on try again. Click on choose file. This time we'll try with this image. Select the image and click on open and click on upload button. So this is the original image and this is the enhanced image. So the application has enhanced the original image here. Click on choose file. We'll try with this image. Select the image and click on open and click on upload button. This is the uploaded one and here we can see the enhanced one. So in this way we have to choose the image and the application will provide us with the enhanced image. So this time we'll try with this image for well, last time. This is the original image and here we can see the enhanced image. So we can see the difference here. So in this way we have to upload underwater images and click on the submit button to get the enhanced images. Now click on log out. So the project successfully enhances underwater images using a multi-scale residual attention network that is MSRN, significantly improving image quality and similarity to reference images. The MSRN outperforms traditional methods and the CNN model providing clearer images for marine biology, robotics, environmental monitoring and archaeology applications. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.